So we use the language member when row or Roman or zero is communicating with that person and a doctor can use uh, the language that they feel most comfortable with. We think a lot about this, about how to break down a stigma. The, the first thing I think we, you want to understand is why does the stigma exist and what's sort of holding it back um, for us? Um, and, and why it's holding it back and then what is a way to, to overcome that stigma? I think we think about two things. One is shifting the Overton window, which is this idea of like what's acceptable in public discourse, right? So um, if you can take, if let's say you have on one end of an argument or an extreme, you have uh, on the left side you have here and on the right side over here, and one side uh, decides to shift to an extreme, right? Then the middle naturally shifts that way. And so if you're breaking down a stigma, and I think we've looked at other companies that have done this incredibly well, right? Thinks is a brand that's done incredibly well with this. They've shifted what's acceptable, and maybe people are made uncomfortable by that, but they're made less uncomfortable by this now. Yeah. So for us, my going out there, sharing our story, us taking over a subway, and frankly being loud and proud about a lot of this mm -hmm. um, is really important to start that process. And then I think you have to have an appropriate mix between uh, data um, and, a, and an emotional impact.